Hey there, everybody. It's time for this week's News Minute, and we are joined with Jen. Jen, what are we doing today? Today, we are doing something super fun. You may have done it before. We are making a tornado in a jar. Ooh, which I have always loved doing this, and I cannot wait to show our kids. And it's so easy to do. What ingredients do you need? So all you're going to need is a little bit of dish soap, vinegar. We have some glitter, but you could also use food coloring okay. or both. Um, and then any kind of a jar with a lid. And something that you can probably see through, right? Yeah. Because you want to be able to see the action that's going on. Probably wants to be clear. Yes. <laughs> so it's kind of based off this really fun book. Exactly. Where can people find this book? I kind of want to bring it home. I'm sure you can find this on Amazon or anything, but we will also be reading it in our Steam Sprouts program later this month. So uh, Freddy the Frog Craster and the Terrible <laughs> Tornado, this is a really fun book. And it's something that is so simple and easy to do with this experiment and your kids will love it. And it might be a great way to introduce thunderstorms and talking about severe weather with your kids. Okay, so what do we do? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add one teaspoon of vinegar into okay. water. Um, and basically you're just gonna fill the jar about like two thirds of the way. Basically just leave a little bit of room. And then we're gonna take about a tablespoon of dish soap add that in there all right and it already adds this one is a blue dish soap so it already adds a little bit of color yes which is so fun and then i'm going to add some glitter so that you can see the tornado a little bit better i love it and it just makes it a little bit more fun you know like it kind of can seem like it's debris add a kind of little thing. magic in there exactly so if you want to add the lid on all right and all we're going to do we use cold water with this you can try it with any temperature water. Okay. And then you're just gonna shake it up. Whoa! And, and you know with the tornado, so with the tornado, it's a rotating column of air that actually touches the ground. And if it doesn't touch the ground, it's actually just a funnel cloud. Whoa! Yeah, super cool to talk about your kids and maybe talk about where you'd go if there was a tornado in your area. So a great way to introduce some coverage of some thunderstorms that we might see this season. Thanks, Jen.